All right. Part eight of an immortal God and his destined ones. Again, this is out of order, but still. Poem. What a pragmatist. What's a pregnant tits? Goku asked me. Pragmatist, Goku. Pragmatist. Pork and ribs? He asked salubriously. And salubrious means uh, beneficial to one's health. So, uh, yeah, I'm just substituting that for seriously as a joke. Anyways, pragmatist. Prego belly? Okay, you messed that one up on purpose, didn't you, Goku? Messed what up now? Never mind. Poem end. The fourth horseman of the apocalypse, death, came, and the jizz killed his horse. I have exotic skin, like the caramel amber of Coco of Cocos CAE tree forests that span the width of Costa Rica and hide thousands of daily well deserved rapes. I also have vermilion lips, like the violated anus of an of a kidnapped eleven year old boy in the Jamaican human trafficking business. In the Alps, there are rumors of evil, abominatory creatures, like a snowman with a penis for a nose that penetrates men's asses and objectifies them. Just the thought of it was extremely revolting and disgusting. So like any good Samaritan, I vomited on my legs, exposing my healthy stomachal contents like hamburgers, toilet paper, eagle bones, rhinoceros shit, and miscarried fetuses. Wilfred Brimley will we'll bomb Stockholm and kidnap some gay teenagers and give them diabetes. I put on my shorts made from captivated or captive domesticated huskies and ferrets whose nostrils were smashed and their entrails ripped off. Animals' rights are for men's rights activists. Any animal I see must be killed as violently as possible. Otherwise, their pagan sa satanic gods will get more power and destroy civilization. If you like animals, then please commit suicide. Anyways, after Kazehana kissed Goku, or no, excuse me, uh, Minaka then walked up to the kissing Goku and Kazehana and said to Kazehana, I think you like me. I'm so lucky. Happy face.